Hey folks, my name is Chris Wessel. Today we're going to be tying a moose wing Patty Francis. Now I've done this video in the past, but I want to redo the video and just show you the variation that I use the most of. If you open my box at any given time, you'll see lots of these in there. So without further ado, let's get on into it. So we're going to start off our low water moose patty with a size 8 uh, Partridge M2 hook. Great little up eye hooks. Traditionally, I guess the Patty Francis is tied with a down eye. And when I'm tying this, uh, a regular Patty Francis, I do use a down eye, but uh, yeah, I just use a up eye hook for these and they seem to fish pretty good. So I'm using UTC 70 today and we're not going to bring this back to the hook point like we normally would. Um, right about there should do. And that's because we're trying to make it a kind of a low water version. Uh, this will be a pretty quick, simple tie. Um, so we're going to start off with a uh, silver oval and reuse an extra small Vivis. And I'm going to do roughly uh, three to four wraps here, maybe even five. We'll see how it looks. Yeah, let's go five. And you can use tinsel for this as well, uh, like some flat mylar. Uh, the reason why I don't, because these hooks are already pretty shiny and uh, if I'm going to use something shiny in the back of this fly, I'd, I'd like to have something that kind of stands out a little bit instead of just flat mylar. I don't know. Uh, next, we are going to start our body. Um, we're going to use a black caribou today. Um, I like using caribou uh, for patties, patty bodies, and I, I, to be honest, I like using it for like machine style flies too, like those shady ladies and green machines. And that's because uh, it's a softer material than whitetail, and I feel like I can get um, a good amount on the hook, but still I'm able to trim these down fairly slim, which is what you would likely want for a wet fly, uh, deer body wet fly. These patterns are also really good for that deer hair that... Uh, you wouldn't normally use for bombers and stuff so like along the top of the back anywhere where your fibers are going to be a little bit skinnier and you'll notice that I'm tying these pretty sparse and I'm not compressing the body at all and the reason for that is again because we're going to want to get this body pretty skinny when we trim it and if you start uh, packing this hair in there, then it's going to make it a lot more difficult to get that body slim. In the last few years, this pattern has been absolutely magnificent in uh, low water conditions in late summer. <coughs> Excuse me. I... Uh, if I'm using a wet fly the last two weeks of our season here in Newfoundland, uh, chances are it's this pattern. I like the dark body and I just love the moose wing too. So there you go. I gave away one of my patterns. <laughs> Not I don't keep secrets, but I, I shouldn't say secret patterns, but all right. So I'm just going to tie that off quickly. When you put a hitch on this pattern, it uh, rides the surface very, very nicely. So we're, I'm going to use a pair of straight scissors now and we're going to trim this body down. And we're just trying to make that even around. That looks pretty good. We're just going to come in and trim up all this stuff in the back 
and we'll do the same in the front as well. Try to trim this up here or down a little bit more than I would the rest because there's going to be a wing laying on top of that and you want to try to get the wing down a little bit so it doesn't flare too much. Alright, so we're going to be using mousse for the wing and um, I've already stacked it but we've got some uh, nice black mousse fur there. And I already stacked it because I'm starting to notice that it's super loud on video when I stack. So when I remember to do it, I will. So we're going to size up our wing. I like to have the wing extend past the body on these a little bit. So right about there. Probably be a good idea to put some thread on there, Chris. So now I'm holding the wing in my fingers and i got to get that thread back on there. That's all right. So I'm just doing a couple loose wraps there. Normally I'd put crazy glue, um, but ooh, that's a lot. But I got some head cement here that'll do the job. And we just tie in our wing nicely there. Have a look. Oh yeah, that is perfect. That's exactly how I like to fish it. And guys, super, super, super simple pattern. Um, I'm not sure about other places in the Maritimes, but I can tell you now that this is just one unbelievable pattern and so simple to tie. Um, you're, you're going to hook fish on this one. Make sure you got a couple. So thank you all very much for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd really appreciate it if you did. If not, totally cool too. Just appreciate having you along. Uh, till next time, stay safe.